Hello, Lawrence. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. Things gradually are improving, moving forward. Um, today, uh, I'd like to go over the... Now, let me get this right. Is it... I've forgotten the name. It's the Section C exercise. Is it the twist that untwists? Yes, as a matter of fact. Yes. Okay. I always get that mixed up with the E exercise. But first things first, I'd like to try and master the, the Section C. All right. It's an untwist. Okay. So, shall we get to it or do you want to talk a bit? Absolutely. No, no, it's fine. I mean, I think the exercises are working. Um, gradually things are improving and I just find that a part way through the program and towards the end of the day I don't know quite what causes it but my left ankle kind of locks up because I think because the because the right leg is not uh, I don't know you, I mean you said it doesn't change in, in length but I, I imagine everything is being pulled up by the hips and, and stuff. Oh, so that's, that's how apparent leg length most of the time occurs, is the hip being pulled up and the right. leg is being part of the hip, gets drawn in. Yeah, so when that happens, for some reason, the, the, the left ankle seems to lock and the opposing muscles in the ankle uh, grip. So I can't bend the foot as I might do, and I end up walking almost as if I'm on a peg leg or like a completely false uh, leg. Yes. You see what I mean? Now this sounds like a, a call for the straight and bent leg integration mm. action pattern, as it deals all around the ankle and the hip, right? Among other things. Which part of the program was that? I've forgotten. Straight and bent leg integration is E. E, ah, okay, so that's coming up fairly mm -hmm. soon. That's good. You wouldn't recommend doing the exercises out of sequence. You prefer that everything is done as yeah. per the sequence, right? Yeah, yeah, because each feeds into the next. So as I'm discovering, yeah. I found it's helping at work to uh, take time out and go up and down the stairs quite a bit and uh, kind of stand on one leg and, and let my other leg kind of dangle uh, and let the, the hip relax. That seems to help quite a lot. There's something to be said for stairs. Mm. Try going up and down backwards. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Excellent. What, what, why does that help? Well, when you're going upstairs backwards, it's mm. bringing special attention to the knee that is bent, that is the next step up, straightening. Mm. Mm. So you're exerting push, whereas when you're going downstairs, the knee is bending, you're yielding. So it's the reverse action. Right. Yeah. And when you're going backwards, you're standing on a secure foot. You're not mm. Mm. going into the insecure direction. And except when you're going backwards downstairs, when you're going backwards downstairs, then you're feeling for the next step. Mm. With the front of your foot, when you go backwards downstairs. Well, actually, yeah, with the sole of your foot, actually. The, the flat. Yeah, the flat of your foot. And okay. that's opposite to people's usual experience going downstairs because they're usually watching, not feeling. Yes. But yes. you must feel when you're going downstairs backwards. When you go downstairs normally, facing forwards, um, is it better for you to, as I've seen many people do when they go downstairs very quickly, they hold the hips level and just kind of, it's like a controlled falling and then they go pat 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 downstairs. But if you walk slowly and you allow the hip to drop to each step, is that better? Yes. Right, because you're actually moving the whole thing, right? Yes, and I think when people are going quickly, they are moving the hips, but much smaller amount. Yeah, very tiny amount, yeah. Okay, I'll go down slowly then. And you can even, you know what the cha-cha-cha is? 
Yes, I've heard of it. It's a dance, right? It's a dance, yes. And if you're using that rhythm going up and down stairs... <laughs> I'll have to YouTube it, I think. All right. It sounds fun, though. It's very much like salsa, which is side to side, only cha-cha is forward and back, alternating right to left. The, 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 That's it. There you are. Yeah, okay, right, right. Very good. I'm glad not many people go up and down the staircase I use. I would feel rather self-conscious doing cha-cha-cha up and down the stairs. But there you go. I'm already doing the gyroscopic walk and the old Jesus walk going yes. up and down stairs. So, oh, uh, up and down stairs doing that. I hadn't thought of that one. It kind of it helps loosen up the, especially this one. The, yes. uh, the old Jesus walk, that helps loosen up the psoas muscles. Mm -hmm. Swing upwards, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of helpful. But anyway, I digress. I, I need to learn how to do the section C exercise correctly. Have so it's a bit hit and miss at the moment, I must say. Sometimes I get a lot of release, and sometimes I just feel like I, I'm just not in balance or I'm doing something wrong. Okay. Well, that exercise is an integration exercise. Yes, <clears throat> changes do occur. Releases and new integrations occur. And its primary intention is integration, is putting together the changes that have occurred previously. Mm. So don't be concerned with the unevenness uh, of changes. Okay. You won't get the same change for a couple of reasons. One is, if you get the change, you don't need to keep getting the same change. Right, of course. So that yeah. means that new frontier mm. is in store, and so the changes are likely to be in different locations. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, yeah. Um, I hadn't realized it was an integration exercise, I think because when I tried it for the first couple of times, I had such a, a, a shocking result, I thought that it was actually causing the, the changes. It does, it does, but primarily it's an integration movement. Right. It's just If you just look at how the movement elements assemble, mm. A, yeah. A plus B, A plus B plus C, and so forth. At least stacking, yeah. Yes, that's right. Understood. So, um, do you want to go through the exercise um, right from the very beginning with the arm and all of that? Because it's quite long. It could be like 30, 40 minutes. Or do you want to move to the part where everything is already brought together, and the final part? I think we should assemble from the beginning, and we needn't do all the repetitions. The point of this would be just to identify the form of the sure. movement. Okay. Understood. I'll assume the position. Good idea. Bring your head at this end. Okay. So you'll be... And, and use the diagonal shape. Go left. Uh, feet, there you go. And it's right. perfect. Great. There we go. All right. And for this exercise pattern, the legs are down flat. That's right. Oh, okay. I need to move slightly. I'm hitting the sofa. In the that case, as you uh. All right. In that case, aim, aim the camera sport. slightly down then. Aim the camera slightly down, and that way I can see your head as well. Um, that's that's wonderful. Oh, okay. <clears throat> There we go. Well, all right then. So the working position will be one arm along your side. Mm -hmm. And then there you are. So the ear is cupped in the palm. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're more on top of your fingers than your palm. Ah, okay. I don't have very much flexibility in my... My arm, I find the, the front peg must be very tight mm -hmm. because I can If I put my ear on my palm, I almost can't get the elbow all the way down. I can, mm -hmm. but I have to kind of reach for it. Adjust for comfort. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the action pattern begins by pressing the bent elbow down. And you'll feel how it causes your chest to lift a little bit. Yeah. So repeat that a couple of times. Good. 
Now watch what happens when you press and hold the elbow and press the ear. Notice how it makes your back arch even more. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the slow melting action is what enables the changes to occur. There you go. And you do that enough to get familiar with it. And then say when ready for the next one. Okay. So now press and hold the elbow. Press mm -hmm. down the ear. And mm -hmm. slowly tip the head back until you feel something at the base of your head and back. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Then you slowly melt from there. So now you've done A, B, and C, so to speak. So when I melt from here, am I returning the head to its neutral position? That's a good idea. Yeah. Because it's really movement that we're working with. Try again. Though. Very good. There we go. All right. And then the same action and hold. Mm -hmm. Tipping the head back. There you go. And now turn the left foot straight upward so the center back of the heel is pressing and tighten that buttock. And now you feel the diagonal connection between the left buttock and the right shoulder. Mm. And you play with that a little to make them equal. So I'm concentrating on the strength of the contraction in the butter and the shoulder. Exactly. But not the back of my neck. Also that. You want to equalize all efforts. And I don't need to put that much force in, right? No, you don't, actually, as long as you can feel it. And I'm looking to not be able to tell where the force is greatest, right? It's kind of diffuse. That's as it should be. When they're equalized, they are diffuse. Okay. It actually feels like the action is coming from the center of your back or your hip, uh, hips. Yeah. I think good. Very good. If it feels like it's coming from an arm or a neck or something, that means you're not equalized. Okay, and of course you melt. So now you've got to feel for how that connects, yes? Mm, yeah. Okay. Now press the arm and head, that action pattern, and turn the right knee inward to the left. Point the right toes left and feel how the two actions help each other. Do we need to be turning the toes like that? Yes, it's helpful. The point is to have the two actions help each other. So the knee is straight, but the yes. toes must have turned inwards. Yes. Do I need to tilt my neck backwards? Or each, not? each time, yeah, that's a part of every movement. Do it with and without. Notice the different feeling. Mm. That'll tell you why. There's a, a strong feeling of contraction from the back of the neck down to the shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. And just stay there and turn the leg in a little further. Notice how it helps the arm push down. Uh, okay. Saying that's why we combine those. They help each other. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you melt from that. Good. Just pause for a moment. The point of this is, again, for you to have an experience of the movement in good form. Now you know how those things connect because you, because you just experienced it. Mm -hmm. Now let's switch to just shoulders. Press the right arm, shoulder, and head. And head and back. Exactly. And now switch to pressing the left shoulder and arm down and back. And alternate to cause a rocking between right and left sides. And the head is back the whole time. Yeah, the head is coordinated with the arm and shoulder movement. 
So as you relax the arm and shoulder, you may relax the neck effort comparably. Here's a fine point. Your left arm, make it thumb upward rather than the palm upward. Now push down. Okay, that, that's palm down. Go thumb upward. That's, there you go. How you been it? Yeah. All right, and now alternate and notice the difference in feeling when the arm is in that position. Right. Mm-hmm. And you tell me when you've made the connection. As you rock side to side, you'll feel that each shoulder action causes the rocking in the opposite direction. That's the connection to which I refer. So now that we've just did a, a kind of rocking of the shoulders, now we do it with the legs. So you press the right arm and shoulder, mm-hmm. head, left toes straight up, push down. And now switch the right leg turning toes left. Keep your left toes toes up? up. No, switch. There you go. So there's a a comparable rocking. Now let's, let's just for rehearsal, switch again. Tighten the left buttock. And switch again. You feel the rocking occur now? Yeah. See, that's how it works. So we are doing a twist movement. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Again, this is rehearsal. When you're practicing, you may practice this rocking movement, and it's not a stated part of the instructions. Right. In fact, you may take any movement element mm. or pair of movement elements and practice and play with those. Mm. The more you do that, the more you'll integrate the change. Right. Okay. Okay. So now, left shoulder push down and turn the left toes into the right and feel how those two actions help. Mm-hmm. See, there's your connection. Got it. All right. Now hold that shape and press the right arm, shoulder, and head. So so release the no, left keep, shoulder? Keep, no, uh, oh yeah, release the left shoulder. Yeah. Okay, and rest for a moment. All right. Now we're going to do the... This is actually... We're going through this rather easily and quickly. Let's uh, press that again. Right arm and shoulder, head, left buttock. Mm -hmm. Switch to the right leg, turned in all the way. Good. Now press the left shoulder and turn the left foot in. Uh Relax the right leg. You're switching. Good. And while the left foot is turned in, press the right arm and shoulder. Hold that shape. Lift the left arm and the right leg slightly. The right leg lifts also. There. It's like walking, you see? Mm-hmm. And from there you melt. Let's do that one more time for rehearsal. Mm-hmm. So, right arm and shoulder. Head, tip back, left toes straight up, buttock tight. Now switch the right leg turned inward. That's it. Now press the left shoulder and turn the left toes inward. And the right arm and shoulder push down. And lift the right leg and left arm. There you go. And melt. Everything else is repetition and and integration. 
So now that you've made these connections, when you hear the instructions and you start the movement, you'll get movement memory suddenly reminding you, oh yeah, these things connect. Right, okay. What I experienced when I did it before is, um, especially when I did it on the other side, yeah. I feel yeah. the right hip lowering. Mm -hmm. Is that what should happen? Well, what should happen is what you happen to need. Right. Okay. People seem are contracted in idiosyncratic ways. Yeah. yeah. And these movements invoke awareness of what has been happening without awareness. Right. And changes occur. So you might feel that your abdominal organs shift. Right. Many things may occur. Many. You may feel your back changes. You may get crunchings in the, th in the upper back, the thoracic vertebrae. Mm. You may get crunchings at the base of your head. It, it just depends on what you happen to need. I understand. Is it, can we can try it on the other side as well? Yes, indeedy. So I, uh, I can push it down. All right. So do a few presses of the left arm and shoulder. Mm -hmm. Feel how that pulls the shoulder behind the chest and the chest lifts in effect. See there? Mm -hmm. So rehearse that a few times. Do a few quick returns. I always find my left shoulder, shoulder is much stiffer than, than the right. right. I, I, I guess, guess it's, it's the whole thing is compensating for the right side. Is, uh, the right hip is tightening up. Now. You know, there's a, there's v there are very many idiosyncratic patterns. Mm. <clears throat> there are many ways to go wrong and one way to go right, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then add your head ear pressure. Again, notice the effect on your back. Mm. That's fine. And now add the head tip back. One, two, three. Arm, ear, head tip back. Yeah. There you go. It's almost it's like driving a manual stick shift. Yes. yes. It's, it's really, really quite an uncomfortable position. position. It, it doesn't make me cringe, cringe, but it's, it's far from uncomfortable. Well, you, you decrease the effort. Yeah. So, yeah. And by the way, sometimes things change better at a lower level of effort. Yeah. 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 Let's try it. Yeah, that's yeah, a normal. There you go. One more like And you say when ready for the next. Okay. I find it quite difficult to balance the, the elbow, ear, and neck sensations mm -hmm. because when you do the neck, that's the most uncomfortable part. So it kind of sticks out versus the other sensations. Mm -hmm. So again, you may decrease effort where yeah. it's too much and increase where it's not enough. Quite uh, juggling. And as soon as you balance them, changes occur. You see, if they're not balanced, then they're not integrated. Right. If they're not integrated, that means you're in your old pattern. As soon as you balance them, suddenly you get a new perception. The movement's coming from a different location, and shifts occur. So sometimes it's necessary to do less. Yes. yes. Okay. Say when and resume the working position. All right. So now, uh, when I see you've done the arm, head, and shoulder, then I'll mm -hmm. I'll speak up. Arm, head, there shoulder. There we are. Okay. All right. Now the right leg, toes straight up, back of the heel against, and tighten the buttock. Now you balance the right buttock, left shoulder. And then add the head and neck. And again, less is 
sometimes needed to match up the forces. Good. You need rehearsal on that one? One more, maybe. Okay. Say when. <clears throat> There you go. Okay. Start from the beginning. Okay. And now you turn the left toes to the right. Turn the knee of that leg and make the pressure of the shoulder and arm help the leg turn. Okay. Make the leg turn help the arm and shoulder press. And you've got it connected. Melt. Now, a little tip. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference which direction you start first. Okay. So let's get into that shape again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now do this. Turn the leg to help the shoulder press. Yeah. yeah. And now press the shoulder and arm to help the leg turn. Okay. See what happened? Yeah. yeah, it went with that. Exactly. So order or sequence makes a difference, and then you melt freely. All right, so you've done a little bit with each leg. Now we alternate shoulders. So your arm is in, right arm is in good position. Mm -hmm. You press the left shoulder, elbow, head and neck, and then switch to the right, and switch to the left and cause yourself to rock a little bit. Just a soft movement, mm -hmm. held enough to feel. Okay, and when you've gotten how that works, tell me. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so now, left arm and shoulder, head. Left arm and shoulder, head. Right foot, toes straight up. Buttock. Now switch to the left leg, toes turning in. There you go. That's it. And you felt how the shoulder and, and leg turn connect. Yeah. Okay. And if if you want, alternate your leg positions. Again, this is just rehearsal. You get a foot cramp? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know about waving the foot rather than stretching the foot? How, how like that? that? Exactly. That's how you get a cramp to dispel. Uh -huh. Stretching stretching doesn't work very well at all. Mm -hmm. But if you wave the foot where the cramp is, that means mm -hmm. both directions, into the cramp and out of the cramp. See, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. So, starting again with the left shoulder. Yeah. Yep. Right buttock. Toes straight up. Good. Now switch to the left leg. Good. There you go. Notice how that left leg turn helps the left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now switch to the right shoulder pushing down. And turn the right foot, turn left. There you go. And now that's it. And press the left arm and shoulder. Mm -hmm. And left toes straight upward. And lift the left leg and right arm slightly. There you did it. Ex pause there. Experiment with the amount of right arm twist. Feel the difference of effect. Exactly. And once you've connected them, melt. Everything else is repetitions, is just further integration. The more you do it, the better connected things get, mm -hmm. the more obvious the movement becomes. And then, of course, when you stand up, your walking is altered. I think what, what, what I've noticed is the, uh, 
Uh, uh, if we just, just go over it. it. So, so you push, push your, push the left, left uh, shoulder, shoulder down, down head, and head, and then the next bit is putting the pose, mm -hmm. and the, the butter, and then switch to there you go. Again, there you go. and then you don't, you don't have to push, push down, down very far on right, it's right. just, just naturally push, push down. down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then you change, change shoulders, shoulders, is that change right? Change shoulders, yes. And then, what do we do next? That's the bottom. Uh, oh, well, then you turn the right toes inward. So you, so you relax, relax the left, left foot. Yes, uh-huh. Turn the left foot in. The right toes are in and to the right <laughs> shoulder, which helps. And now press with the left shoulder. Hold the leg. And lift left leg and right arm. Straight we want the knee facing forward. Exactly, it does, well, exactly. Matter. It does matter. Yeah, the knee straight forward. There you go. Ah, ah yeah, I can feel the left. left uh, sorry, so the right knee right right is, is, is is moving down. down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, what um, um, the instructions that I've been listening to. Uh, I, I think, think from get, get free free back pain, pain. Yeah. And there are yeah. minor, minor differences, differences to, to what we've done, done just now. now. Mm -hmm. the, 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 sorry, sorry. So, so you've got the toes turned in, in, in um, um, and, and then, then I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it gets just turning the toes in. And it asks and it you, when you've, when you've got, got the arm on the leg lifted, it asks you to pull your abs down. To the, to the floor. floor. Is it, should, should I be, I be doing, doing that, that or does it doesn't matter? matter? There are certain natural movements. So yes, when you're lifting your right arm and left leg, the abdominals, particularly the obliques, which right, right. are correspond to a diagonal between the right shoulder and left hip, one layer of the obliques does. Yeah. yeah. So you'll feel your front tighten some. You'll also feel your back tighten in the opposite diagonal. Right. right. So you're doing something intrinsic to human walking, which is the crisscross pattern of connection. Right. right. So we lift it far, and then a quarter to the floor. And then release. Yeah, when you release again slowly, works better. Okay, okay. So, so I put my in, in the air. air. I just pull the, the stomach down, down to the floor. floor. Yeah, but and don't make a special. You may experiment. Experiment with doing a special effort versus just the natural hookup. So I don't actually have to. You, you really, really pull my stomach, stomach in. in. Just, 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 just do it naturally. naturally yeah. yeah. Um, yes, and it wouldn't. I wouldn't describe it as pulling the stomach in. Mm -hmm. That might lead to a different kind of action pattern. I would say just tightening across the front. Right. right. So I don't so actually physically consciously have to do very much. Mm. Okay. okay. That's, That's good. good. Uh, and you feel fr you're free to experiment mm -hmm. with and without because you're pressing your head down. The mm -hmm. abdominal rectus, the central muscle, will not be engaged. And because you're lifting a shoulder and opposite leg, the oblique mm -hmm. will be engaged. Right, right, okay. And it's the external oblique on one side and the internal oblique on the other. The obliques crisscross. In fact, mm -hmm. if you were to look at it, the abdominal muscles are very much like the union jack. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. They're like They're that, like that right? right? In in both ways, the union jack has uh, diagonals and a cross, a yeah. plus. And our abdominals, the transversus muscles, are the horizontal cross. The rectus abdominis are the vertical. And the obliques are the two diagonals. So the union jack is very much like the belly wall. And that, well, that, that, that explains why, why this exercise, exercise is very, very good, good for me. Because, because all, all of my, my tension, tension is in the, the obliques, obliques on one, one side. side. Uh -huh. especially, especially the inner, inner oblique, oblique on the right, right hand side. side. Mm -hmm. So, so that would explain, explain the, the, the opposite, opposite side, side why everybody really resists. Is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah no, no, so, so, it's so it's very effective, effective to exercise for that. that. That's, That's very, very good. good. I'm, 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 I'm thinking, thinking um, um, 
um, um, probably, probably I'm, 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 I'm a bit, bit too tired to do the wheels of is it wheels, wheels of synchronicity? Well, wheels of synchronicity. Well, so wheels of synchrony, but you're not there now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't correspond to this lesson. No, no, no. no. I'll be I'll doing, doing that, that tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, I think the, the I've changed the regimen, so my memory may not be reliable about which went with which. But it seems that nose in the hole goes it's with this one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, that's, that's actually, actually that's, that's a good question. question. I, received I received through your email, email uh, and, and the, the uh, uh, survey so about, about the latest, the latest version. version. Yes. Um, when, when are you planning, planning to make, to make it, it um, or publish it on, on the web? web? When I'm satisfied with the quality of all the exercises. Okay. okay. It's not set by date. I thing is, I'm going through, in fact, what I've got to do is go through every one of the exercises that I've published so far, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be putting in a special insert at the beginning. The key to this exercise is, in this particular one, it's equalizing the efforts. Yes. yes. So I have work to do on all of the sections, right. and I'm just getting through them on a weekly basis. Yeah, yeah. I would like to think that it will be published within the month. Very, very good. good. Oh, that's that great. great. So the, 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 one, the one that I have, have a link to, to on the internet, internet that, that has hasn't changed, changed uh, that's, that's still, still the original, original version, version, right? No, it's a being updated all the time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so that's, that's cool. cool. So, so every time I access it, there, there, there are small, small changes, changes to, to, to the text. text and and when, when I, think I think the videos, videos are linked to are still, still the original, original videos, videos, right? right? No, they're new videos. I keep on replacing uh -huh. the links okay. so that okay. people have the most current version. Yeah, no, 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 it's no, great. It's I, mean, I mean, if, if, I, if, I, if I had if the time, time and money, money, I would, I would, so would just, just fly out and come see you in New Mexico. Mexico but, you know, you know. What can you do? This is this is great. I'm very glad that we can connect in this way. But who knows? Maybe, Maybe I'll, I'll win the win lottery, lottery or the lotto. The lotto, the lotto yes, quite. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would, that be, would good. be good. Anyway, anyway I won't, I won't take, take that, that any more time. time. I, will I will see you on, see you on Friday. Friday. Thank, thank you very much. Very much. And, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll practice, practice again, again tomorrow. tomorrow.